this idea of a clown trip. It was amateur night. We never required any training. You could be the most boring person from your country. And in a clown garb, that made you a clown. You could stand there going, oh my God, they're good. I'm no good. I'm, I don't know how to make people laugh. And people will think this is your clown character and go, wow, they're really good. And it's never mattered. Most of the people who've come on clown trips and we've taken ages three to 88, most of them have never clowned. They come in a costume and we may make a few suggestions, but mostly we give them experience and their love starts to shine. But watch out, you may want to do it again next year and the year after and the year after. Or you may go home and decide to just have it be your style. That also happens. And, you know, after going to Russia, it wasn't long before we thought refugee camps, war zones. There was even a film made when we took clowns into the war in Afghanistan called Clowning in Kabul. And we started to go especially after the Hollywood film came out and we were able to afford to go to other countries. Now for years we've been doing six to eight a year and boy are they fun. I never tire of it. It's, you know, you could say you're clowning but the truth is often when I go to a hospital I ask the staff who is suffering the most. Not because I think I can change things, but because I'm comfortable to be with them and I want to see what happens. And I have seen thousands of things happen. And I know that we get our hospital built. I'm going to be a doctor who looks like a clown and everybody better watch out. Come on a clown trip. You may be goofy inside.